This is a picture of Napier's rod. Napier's rod is used to multiply digits 2 through 9 by any larger number, for instance, 123. Now what I'd like to do is explain to you how we use Napier's rod, and then I'll show you a multiplication problem. So if you look to the far left, you notice that digits 2 through 9, this will be our index, the first rod, and we'll be able to multiply it by any of the top numbers. So for instance, let's multiply 3 times 3. If you go down to the index on the far left, you noticed the 3, and you want to scroll all the way over to the third rod. So 3 times 3 equals 9. Now let's say 5 times 5. Again, you want to use the index on the far left, go down to 5, and scroll all the way over to rod 5. And you notice here you get 25. Again, we're not using it for small digit multiplication, we're using it for larger digits. So we're going to multiply 5 times 245. So what do you do when you have that big of a number? We'll get the student to use the index on the far left and also pick out rods 2, 4, and 5. So index on the left, and then we're also going to get rods 2, 4, and 5. So what we're going to do is scroll over and notice that I chose the index and also lined it up with rods 2, 4, and 5. So I also highlighted 5 times 2, 5 times 4, and 5 times 5. What we're going to do is add all of those numbers together and you'll have your answer. So we're going to scroll over and I just rewrote it. And so if you notice here, 5 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus 0 is 2, and 1 plus 0 is 1. So reading from left to right, 5 times 245 equals 1,225. You can do this with picking different rods out of Napier's rods. For instance, if you want to do you know, 2 times 567, you choose the same thing. You could get the index on the far left, and then you'd choose 567 rod, and you'd also add that up. Tune in for next time. Thank you.